Welcome to another video. Today we have some front crawl footage to analyze, so let's get into it. Here we go. Pretty good. Nice house, by the way. Yep, I can see it already. I already know what to say. <laughs> you probably do too. Alright, let's get into this. So first off, uh, I can tell that uh, he looks really comfortable. Okay, that's good, right? As long as you're comfortable swimming or running or cycling, or whatever exercise that you're doing, as long as you're comfortable and not stressed out, that, that's, that's a good sign, okay? Uh, first thing, let's start with the ground, from the ground up, okay? So the kicking. It's always the kicking that has to start first when you're dealing with front crawl, okay? Never mind the arms, never mind the breathing, it has to be the kicking first. Alright, so let's take a look at his kicking. Now you, you can see that there's not enough white water being produced, okay? And that is a bad sign, okay? When you don't see any white water when you're front kicking, that means your legs are underneath the water and it's like kicking in quicksand, okay? The longer you keep your legs underneath the water, the harder it will be to kick long term, okay? You may not feel it on lap one, but you will definitely feel it on like lap 42, all right? So keep your legs up along the surface of the water, okay? And how do you do that? You practice by holding a kickboard, okay? You start off with kickboard drills, okay? Now, I don't know why, but you know, for me, when I warm up for front call, I always do front kicking drills with a kickboard. I don't know about you, but that's how I do my warm ups for front call. And you should too, okay? So always bring a kickboard to your local pool or just use the, the kickboards that they use at the pool that you're swimming at. But uh, it's better to get your own, okay? And the thicker and heavier the kickboard, the better, all right? Because it will help distribute your weight along the surface of the water. Okay, so aside from his kicking that needs to be a, a little bit more aggressive and a little bit more along the surface, let's take a look at his arms. Now, his arms are pretty, pretty typical. Okay, they're, they're pretty like relaxed and just almost too relaxed. Okay, I see this very, 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 very often amongst a lot of people who are long distance swimmers, they have this very lazy zombie approach to front crawl, which is fine because in their minds, they don't want the lactic acid to build up in their arms. Okay, if they, they stress it out too much, right? If they, they use their, their muscles too much. Okay, I get it. But you gotta be a little bit more aggressive if you wanna be more optimal. And what I mean by aggressive, I mean by spearing the water when you re-enter and stretching forward as far as you can. It's like you reach forward. There's a reason why we teach glides for beginner swimmers, okay? It comes back when you're learning front crawl. So when you glide, you know, the first lesson at your pool, they teach you to push off the wall and then glide and they say, reach, stretch like a rocket ship and shoot through the water. That glide that stretch is gonna propel your body forwards, okay? So like boom, ooh, boom, ooh, right? Doom, ooh. That momentum will carry you forward. And the same thing applies to front call. When you stretch your arm forward, reach, spear the water to build that momentum, and then reach. Just like you're throwing a baseball, you throw it, you follow through, and then your whole body moves forward. So what I'm saying is, let the water work for you. Let the water do the work for you, all right? 50% of firm call is, yes, you pulling, but the other 50% is letting the water propel you forwards. And how do you do that? You gotta spear the water and stretch forward, okay? So keep that in mind. When you re-enter the water, spear, don't smack. Spear, cut through the water, thread the water, whatever you want to call this motion. Don't smack, spear, cut, incision, 
surgically be precise when you're re-entering, okay? And reach forward. There's a reason why swimmers are tall, because we keep doing this motion in front call. We're always reaching and stretching our bodies, our limbs out, like this. We don't look like this. We look like this. You'll notice, like, look, my shoulder's here, my shoulder's down here. My shoulder's here, my shoulder's down here. I'm reaching, reaching with every pull with my front crawl. So keep that in mind. He's really looking up to the sky, okay? Now, there's a difference between looking up here and looking here. Let me come up for side breath. The higher you look, the harder it will be to maintain speed, okay? It's okay to look up if you want. If you get getting tired, we all get tired. I get tired of the front crawl, long distance. Yeah, I sometimes I look up towards the ceiling because I just want to delay that my breath. I want to get more oxygen. I get it, but he's just starting out. And when you're starting out, you want to do to the side as much as possible, okay? Like this, okay? Out and back in quickly. Out, back in quickly. And how do we do that? Okay, well, like I said earlier, you gotta spear the water and reach and that, propel that propulsion with your head tucked to the side, working together. That's how you do it, okay? So the opposite, of working against would be like you spear the water you reach forward but your head is like this do you see that this and this is not working together this head is up here this arms going there two the head and the arms are going in two different directions no you want the head and the arm to go in the same direction and that's how you build that speed okay that that awesome glide okay so Keep that in mind. I think this kid will go far. He's really relaxed. He's got a nice pool. I wish I had a pool like this. <laughs> Don't have to deal with other swimmers and all that. But uh, yeah, two each is on. Okay, so that's all I have to say about this video. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment down below. And uh, I'll see you later. Talk to you later. Bye.